If you could only run in one pair of shoes for the rest of your career, so whether you're, all your training, all your races, um, what pair of shoes would you pick and why? So good morning, welcome to day two from the ASICS event here in Malaga. Um, I'm just on the way to the Speed Lab, um, which I think is where we're going to get analysed to find out which pair of shoes suits us more. Are we more stride runners or are we more cadence runners? Um, I completely overslept this morning, missed the group run, and I think the jet lag's caught up with me from the last week of travel. Still sort of operating on American time um, because yeah, my flight back from Boston was only a day before, less than 24 hours before my flight to Malaga. So yeah, I'm just on my way now, trying to catch up, and then we're gonna go into the speed lab and get a few interviews today with some of the athletes, which should be good. Morning. Sorry, I'm late. Morning. So we go from the prototypes to the finished product, which is presented here in this nice case. We've got the Metaspeed Sky, and here is the Metaspeed Edge. So we just came in to the Speed Lab, which is looking at the midsole foam. Here we've got a cross-section of the Metaspeed Edge. It's this to upper. We've got the padding in the heel here, and then this is the insole of the shoe. We've added 4% more volume to the Sky Plus. So there's a total increase of roughly 4% foam volume in the Metaspeed Sky Plus. We've also changed the toe spring slightly. You can see here on the right is the Metaspeed Sky. On the left, Metaspeed Sky Plus. An increase in that toe spring really helps uh, with the performance. But 4% on the Sky Plus, 16% uh, on the Edge Plus. So we just finished at the Speed Lab, that was really, really interesting, seeing all the prototypes, all of the technology and the research that's gone into these shoes. Finally got my hands on a pair, so I've got a pair of the Metaspeed Sky, um, it's got my name written on it there, Ben Felton. So yeah, do a quick unboxing, live here from the Speed Lab. Here we go. There is a first look at the Metaspeed Sky, lovely colourway. One, and two. So yeah, I'm going to get to try these shoes um, over the 5k distance on the same day that the professional athletes um, run on the course, which is literally just here beside me, so sorry if there's any road noise. But yeah, here's a first look at the Better Speed Sky in my size. So, so lightweight. When he handed me the box, I thought, is there anything even in the box? It felt so, so light. Um, I've never tried any ASICs um, road racing shoes, so it'd be interesting to try these. I'm just going to put them on feet and uh, yeah, put them through their paces for a few strides. Here we go, first run in the Best Speed Sky Plus. So there we go, just did our first little stride in the Metaspeed Skies, they feel amazing. Um, really good fit, nice and springy, they really get you up onto your toes. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to racing the 5K tomorrow, fingers crossed. So I'm here with Chad, one of the product developers from ASICS. So the first question is, how long has been spent developing these shoes? We actually started development of this shoe even before we launched uh, the Metaspeed Sky and Edge uh, first iteration. So a lot of times for us, innovation is a continuous endeavor and so, it's been at least 18 months in development, I would say, uh, through many different prototype rounds and maybe the picture you took photos of earlier, Ben. Yeah. Um, Another question is, what's the trickiest part of the shoe to develop and why? I don't know if I'd use the word tricky, but based on our construction philosophy with both the stride type runner or the runner who's increasing stride length when they run faster versus the cadence type runner or the athlete who's having a, a higher turnover, uh, a lot of it was fine-tuning the carbon uh, shape and placement to, to really differentiate and give that, that true athlete benefit, benefit for, the, uh, for their performance. For ordinary club runners, how would you decide between the Metaspeed Sky and the Metaspeed Edge? Yeah, so there's actually going to be quite a few different tools. Uh, 
for a lot of athletes, whether you're running with like a Garmin or a Coros or, or various other um, watches with kind of like the, the pod, there's typically um, outputs of like stride length and cadence. And so we're gonna have uh, various digital tools available um, to help to, to kind of corral or bucket you, if you will, in terms of the ideal experience, um, in terms of whether or not you're more of a prototypical uh, sky type runner or, or edge runner. Thank you very much. And I've got two final questions. Sure. Um, one is more about the colors of the MetaSpeed Sky. Are we going to see some different colorways coming out to the market soon? Yeah, so uh, the World Athletics in, in Eugene well, is coming up pretty quickly. I think you're you're likely going to see uh, something to kind of tie back to that in terms of an homage to that. Um, and then, yeah, I'll, I'll leave it at that. Yeah, no problem. And our final question is with regards to the Nova Blast 3. Can you reveal any improvements that we're going to see in that model of the Nova Blast? Yeah, so I was actually the product manager for the, the Nova Blast uh, 2 and 3 as well. Um, so for version 3, we're going to see a, a totally new shoe in terms of top to bottom. We've actually moved from Flight Foam Blast to Flight Foam Blast Plus. We've dropped approximately 30 grams from version uh, version 2 at 273 grams, I believe it was, to about 240 grams uh, for, for version 3. I'll have to check that to be 100% accurate, but that's kind of where my head is, is at the moment. Um, there's a totally new upper that's uh, very innovative and unique in terms of the construction, and the underfoot experience is quite nice. We've also added uh, one millimeter midsole stack uh, to both the heel and forefoot. Great, thank you very much for your time. Yeah, thank you. Um, hope you enjoy the racing tomorrow. I'm going to be doing the, the 5K myself after the pro, so I'm really looking forward to trying out the shoes. And yeah, best of luck for the rest of the weekend. Thank you. Well. So I just finished at the Speed Lab this morning, got to interview the product developer there, which was pretty cool. Get a bit of an insight into how the product was designed and developed over the last 18 months. Um, I'm now on the way to uh, a council building here where apparently some of the athletes are, so I'm going to get to interview um, Eilish McColgan, who is the 5k British record holder. Um, hopefully I'll get to a five minute sort of slot with her. Put on my Instagram, um, does anyone have any questions for Eilish? Um, so I'm just going to read some of those out to her, get her insight onto her training, um, what she thinks of the shoes, how she's feeling ahead of tomorrow's race. She's going to be racing the 5k. Um, so yeah, really good opportunity to get to speak to, to an athlete of her calibre, an Olympian. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. A little bit nervous, a little bit of a, a fanboy of, of, of her. So yeah, it'd be cool. Hopefully we can get a selfie as well. So this is the council building here where some of the athletes are based this afternoon, um, where the interviews are taking place before the race tomorrow. Um, wonder who's in. I think Mo Katir is doing some interviews as well. Um, my interview is just with Eilish, but yeah, we'll see what other athletes are, are dotted about. See if you can spot anyone one in the next few clips. There he is, Spanish national record holder for 1500 meters, 3K, 5K. Mo Katir just rocked up. Um, I'm not actually interviewing him today, but yeah, it's pretty cool to have him in the building. Some more athletes coming in now. Amazing. Hi, yeah, um, I'm Ben from uh, Ben is Running, a YouTube channel. Um, my question for you is if you could only run in one pair of shoes for the rest of your career, so whether your all your training, all your races, um, what pair of shoes would you pick and why? That's a good question. Um, yeah, to be honest, it's, it's always going to have to be the performance ones. Yeah. Everyone likes to run fast, like everyone likes to feel like running fast. Um, I actually do the majority of my training in the Meta Racer. Um, it's a much lower stack height, but I find it's very versatile for like track. I can do 200 meter reps, I can do 8 mile tempo. Um, but when it comes to race day, like, everyone likes to race, race up. Yeah. So you'd rather do your recovery runs in like a super shoe? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> than, than racings? It just so that I could race, race well. Race. Yeah. yeah. I think everyone works hard in training for your performances, not for your easy run days. Yeah. So yeah, for me, it would have to be the yeah, this guy. Great, thank you. So I'm going to call it a day there with this video. Plenty of content there. Really cool to get the opportunity to speak to Eilish McColgan. Um, she's going to go at uh, PB pace. So if she does run faster than her peak current PB, which is 14.48, she'll break the British record here in Mallorca. This is the course behind me, this road here. Now, obviously, it'll be all closed tomorrow. Um, the first race is at 7.45 a.m. They're starting with a half marathon, then the 10K, and then the 5K, and then the mass participation race, which I'll be doing. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to the next 
Well, tomorrow here with ASICS. Um, again, thank you very much for the opportunity. Um, it's been an yeah, incredible trip today so far. It was really interesting hear about, hearing about the product development, especially from sort of like a shoe geek perspective. Um, just going to head back to the hotel, going to go out for a run this afternoon. Um, but yeah, until next time, Aspire to Run, Run to Inspire, and we'll see you again soon.